Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays Minecraft Archipelago. And today I wanted to go over what I've been doing between the episodes and that is I've been doing fishing. That's right, I've put up a chest here for whatever I've fished up and inside of here I start out with a basic fishing rod and at some point in there I fished up a Enchanted Fishing Rod with Mending in Lure 3, which has helped fishing quite a bit. Now that started out with not much durability, but with Mending, it's all the way up. So now I understand how Mending works a little bit better. I've managed to fish up three pieces of leather boots. Not much, but I think I will put one of those on on there. I've got a saddle, which would be helpful. I managed to fish up one piece of leather and that gave me the cow tipper title so therefore looks like it's gathering leather that gives you that particular achievement and not actually killing the cows themselves a few name tags lily pads some enchanted books with things like power three that might be used for power four actually would be more useful than that maybe some knockback or projectile pro protection there blast protection respiration three if i ever want to go against that ocean monument that i've got behind me but that also has efficiency so it's always oh the steps what do you use these enchanted books for power four protection three so i have to go over there and decide oh aqua affinity if something also that would be very useful in going against the ocean monument and we've got some Fish, of course, inevitable. Some tripwire hooks. So all sorts of things I've been fishing up in my time here. So let me put that on. Now, unfortunately, you notice here, very little experience in all there is I was exploring the cave down there, hoping to find some diamonds, because I haven't found any diamonds yet. And, of course, instead of finding a diamonds, I unrooted a cave spider nest, which wasn't very fun experience so unfortunately it was in a spot I couldn't easily extract myself from now what I have been doing is getting a great number of chickens finally I started out with none really and then I had to go through a lot of effort in order to get them here but I've been breeding them around recently and I have enough in the pens that I'm not worrying about keeping them in the pens anymore. Essentially, the ones in the pens are the ones I'm more likely to keep alive and breed up. And, oh, what I need are bows and an arrow. Unfortunately, my one bow I had was, you know where that was, with me when I ran into those cave spiders. Now, why I didn't use the bow at that time? Because I'm so used to not having a bow with me. And yeah, that means I should make myself a new bow. And that means I'll have to kill a chicken or two in order to get some arrows. Yes, oh, there we go. All right. That should have, hopefully that has some feathers on it. Yeah, that's one feather. That's one feather. Let's see. Now that I have all these chickens running out all over the place, I can afford to kill a few for their feathers. Harvest time. That's what it is. Harvest time. Okay. Four feathers. That will be plenty. Now, of course, since you get four arrows out of this, I presume this is actually four groups of arrows or something uh, of feathers or something like that since you need more than one feather in order to make one arrow and you get four arrows out of this let's see flint 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 i put flint in here all right good and now let's let's go and make some arrows okay flint and feathers Good. 16 arrows. That'll be good. Now, of course, I'll need a bow if I'm going to fire said arrow. Let's see. Alright, let's split that up. 
good. And I'll need string. I think I've got some string left. Two string. Hmm. And for bow, I think you need three string. I don't need, I'm not too sure there are too many things where I really need cobwebs. So therefore, let's... Oh, ha! That wasn't my intention. That was my intention. All right, good. All right, let's put that in there. And now I can make my bow. Oh, it helps to get some sticks first. Okay, now I can make my bow if I remember the recipe properly. Good. One bow, 16 arrows. That should keep me... Actually, I'll put this in here. I think I put that in in there for some weird reason. All right, so we could put down here, though, some chickens. I'll just throw the eggs around in order to get something on that. Saddle everything I need in order to go out on a little expedition. So it is getting late. Yeah, I know. The first thing I made after recovering from that trouble with the with the cave spiders and all that stuff was make myself a new clock. Yep. <laughs> Show you what my priorities are on that. All right. Okay, actually, that might have been second. I might have made the bed first. All right. Okay, plenty of chickens around here. All right, good. Done with that. And I've also have so many sheep. Now I don't know how these sheep are getting out of that pen, but I think some of them have managed to escape. I'll have to worry about that some other time. Now, you may notice these torches that I've got here. These torches are here for a reason. They are a path that I made all the way to my potential cattle ranch. And I estimate it takes about one and a half Minecraft days to get there. If I run, I might be able to do it in a day. And I might be able to improve the route so it could be better. And I have been known to say stray from the path once or twice, so might be possible if you're really careful. It might be possible to do it a bit faster than that. But right now, what I want to do is to kill a little time till the end of the day. What happens is if I want to kill a little bit of time till the end of the day, I just go in, throw in my fishing pole and see if I luck out and catch anything. Perhaps better than a fish there. Oh yes, I also lost a bit of food. That's the other thing I lost there. I think though that all I had was some cooked fish, some 14 cooked fish or something like that. I think, yeah, it might help to put that in there. So at least it's something that I could recover very quickly. The biggest loss was the iron armor because I am very short on iron. I had just harvested some iron at that point and harvested a ton of coal. And I have all that coal now that is gone, unfortunately. All right, there we go. Well, two fish for that. So what I can do then is throw in some fish for cooking. And that'll give me something to eat. And which is always good. Having something to eat. Yeah, right. The pork chop should last me, though, until that's all done. So that should be no problem over there. Oh, yes. I do, though, want to make sure I return this fishing pole in here. Because this is something that I want to make sure I always return to this chest. So that when I come here, I always have ready for fishing. And, of course, if I ever, ever do get killed, I don't have the fishing pole on me because I think that's an important thing here. Now, 
at some point I'll probably be making a fishing village out of this little area here turn this into a fishing village and the idea there then is well that's how they have their main economy here is make this look like a place where plenty of fish is cost because that's what I'm going to be doing with the area so most appropriate oh now now that we have the idea of fishing and the fishing village we of course have the question of trade and stuff like that and that's where I come to the matter of these torches leading on the path to the cattle ranch I figured the fishing village could trade with the cattle ranch maybe the fishing village will trade things like well maybe not much for in the way of food since in the ranch cow ranch has its own source of food of course and I'm not too sure fish would keep for such a distance but there is the matter of trade with the you will be fish trade probably sent to our little retreat over here I'm thinking that this is gonna be a religious retreat because we've got a church there now I know that and maybe they do a little smithing on the side in order for trade. So they do a little trade there with the smithing and a religious retreat that people could come to. And that's why we have a cleric there. Fit with the buildings that are there. So there'll be some trade with them. Maybe get some smithing goods in, re in return for some food. And they're close enough that fish would be a viable thing to there. And maybe some produce could also be traded there in return to it so the, some variety in the food but the main tr route is to get to the place where I have all the cattle now the cattle of course are right now all disorganized no organization to them whatsoever I'll have to take care of that at some point but I do have the cattle there now I'm thinking that trying to get them over here is just going to be too painful it's like 1500 blocks or something like that so that's a kilometer worth so that'll be quite a bit now this shows you how much I've evolved in how I do my paths if any of you saw my skirmish series you would have seen that I used the cobblestone in order to mark my pads. Then when I did Pine Ridge, I was just grabbing a torch and doing this by torches, but the torches could be easily missed. I mean, I could sometimes even miss these torches on top of a fence post, but this is a little higher on there. Now, if I had a lot more fence posts and a lot more torches, I probably would have spaced them closer together to make it even harder for them to be lost. Well, that's why I thought of doing so far now. This might be a good place for an inn. Yes. This is a possibility. Because that's what I'm thinking is something that could be about a halfway point or whatever. And I figure the river would be one place where and there way we could have a ferry or a bridge or something like that and charging for that now let's see we've got minus six six so oh, it's not too many blocks that way 80 it's only about 300 400 blocks away there so that just might be a toll station instead rather than a full-fledged trading post So let me see if there is a better place I could think of for my little area here. All right. Collecting eggs along the way, that's not too bad. And of course, we've got a forested area here. And this might actually be a... Perhaps then we could put a lumber area. You know, there could be some lumber sellers here and all that stuff. That could be part of the trade route. So it looks like I have all sorts of things that could be used in the trade route here. 
And then here we have something. I probably build a bridge or something like that to help across there. And then we have the desert here. Hmm. Deserts always make tricky things because not too many. Actually, it's probably the best thing to do is you'd want a village on each side of the desert. Oh, sugar cane! I think that's the sugar, first sugar cane I've seen since I've decided that, you know, maybe finding some of that would be a good idea for books and the like. Right. Sugar canes, because I will be needing that. So I am going to probably plant that over at the fishing village for now until I find a more viable location. So that could be one place where I... Or actually, that side of it could probably get its economy based on the sugar cane. Now I think of it. And then on the other side here, because water... Let's face it. Water is important for anything you do when you're dealing with deserts. And over here, you see I ran out of wood at one point in there. And then I get started near this dark oak area, so now I'm using dark oak for my torches. Now let's see, here we are at... See, now I am much closer to... the cattle over there. Anyway, so I came over here and then I noticed the dark oak and then so I have my first dark oak over there. So therefore, it turned around there. Now, the road here then is on the desert for ease of travel, but it's close enough to non-desert areas where trading might be viable. Now, it looks like you can get here in one day. I guess the last time I came over here, I just made so many stops that it felt like it took a long time. Either that or I'm still far away from it. If it is I'm still far away, then this could be the location of a second. Because this could be a bit of a river. Of, looks like a desert river that's giving a small fertile area in between. And that's what that could be all about. So we, I'll have about, I was thinking about a single inn or tavern along the way, but looks like we've got plenty of places for it at certain key locations. So that's why it helps to go down the line and see what's in there, see what ideas pop up so I can know what to build and things like that. And now we are getting back, yes, into, well, there must be some underground water or something like that. Oh, no. Okay, yes, we're getting at the end of this, actually. And here's the cattle. Now, when I was here the first time, I... Or I, I guess second time, actually, because I did see this once before then. I... Second time... This is my fourth time here. Second time, I did breed this calf here. And it's so far away that the calf has not grown mm. up since then. Now, my main concern in this area, though is this thing that looks to me like a witch's hut. And if that's the case, it means that there are, well, going to be witches around, I presume. And you also see that we've got some, well, it looks like some more sugar cane. And also horses. There are some horses, but they are swimming in the water right next to the witch's hut. So... I'm not too keen on going into there at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right, it is a one. It is a trip that can be made in one day. I, I pretty much confirmed that even without running. Mm -hmm. So it's not absolutely necessary to have a rest spot in between, but I think thematically I will be putting in a few. As I said, especially a lumber place, especially where the dark oak is. Maybe also where they had that birch and oak. I can maybe have one along the river for the toll stations and things like that. All sorts of things that I can do on that matter. And of course, bring plenty of chickens. Now, I am going to probably have some chickens raised here also. Because, let's face it, having them more than one location is probably a sound idea. That way, 
when a creeper comes up and blows up everything, I, uh, I'll have other options. And today, when I went against that set of cave spiders, it demonstrated that having other options can be very, very useful. But that is all today. The sun is setting down on our second day. And we, you've had manage on what my plants are for various areas so get an idea of sense of what's going on it's going to center around this trade route for this archipelago here here for cattle probably a couple of them for lumber one may possibility for a riverside crossing maybe something for sugar cane perhaps and of course we have the fishing village at the end and the religious retreat but that is all for today and i'll see you again next time for the next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft Archipelago.